was the first. Well, not the first anime you ever saw. That would probably be like something on, on Kids WB at that point. But the one that actually got you into the medium, I think you've said numerous times, was Dot Hack Sign. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure... Which somebody sure actually did ask, so did you watch that on, on Toonami for how briefly it was there? Or did you watch it on the different block that actually advertised it more, but put it on at like 1 a.m.? Both, really. I caught it when it first hit Toonami. And that was like 4 o'clock in the afternoon here on Saturdays. Then it was bumped to 1 in the morning when the Toonami block stopped and Saturday stopped doing Saturday afternoons. Yep. So yeah, I caught, I caught it essentially both, because... It's done. The captain's revenge. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna interrupt you really quick just because we have a, a a moment that you have totally not seen from another game ever. Oh, this isn't a chest yet. We actually will have moments where she opens it like Zelda. We're crying out loud. <laughs> yeah. Instead, we just have sacred this books. Codex details the archery techniques of the foes of the Byzantine Empire. Now we get ancient abilities. Quickly shoot up to two successive arrows without the delay of redrawing from the quiver. Rapid fire arrows by quickly pressing and releasing the right trigger after an arrow first is first shot. So now we get tomb completed. Well, this tomb complete. And with that, wee! <laughs> that would have been so funny to this. Wee! <laughs> there you go. Now, here's the thing, too. You could actually skip out on this, and believe it or not, I think the cave blocks up. You lose this tomb oh. if you do not take it. So, like, if you if you just don't want to explore or whatever, you can miss out on this tomb, and it's that's a helpful brooch. concept. Yeah. And Andrea will probably already notice that that's a different thing. Like, we were getting other aspects when we would raid a tomb. Now we're getting unique abilities that actually are from the first game. Um, that are not available via the crafting system and all that. So, if you want those abilities back, this is what you have to do. And even though they're optional, I think it'd be fun just to explore them. I'm, after all, it is Tomb Raider. It is Tomb Raider. Why would you it not is. explore tombs? Why would you not raid the tombs? I guess if you're speedrunning, then you want to keep going. True. Well, you know, it's one of those things that I've seen a lot of people complain, like, Uncharted makes you, you know, go through the puzzles and things like that. But Uncharted does it in a plot-centric way. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of hard to make that comparison. Although I will say the most recent game uh, borrows a lot from Tomb Raider. So I found that very interesting. Oh, and we want to get all these doubloons. Because, believe it or not, there actually is currency in this game. Because we will have to... We'll have to buy some stuff. Oh, and this part I also lost, too. So, again, you're noticing the ice has got that blue tinge. Yeah, that's really pretty. And we have this entire cavern that's going to be it. We have to be fast about this, otherwise oh. we will make ourselves drown. Oh, ah, no, 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 no. And yeah. So anyway, back on to Dot Hack Sign. So that yes, that is your favorite anime, or at least the first one, and I still think one of your favorites. And my favorite, yeah. Okay. We must go faster, 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 faster. Let's go faster. Let's go faster. Let's go faster. Let's go faster. You can swim up. Uh, there we go. And now we're out. Oh, I want the blue tinge back. That's really cool. But that's okay because we're gonna get this. And then not read it. Because <laughs> then, then we would have no time for questions, honestly, people. Okay. That we go. So the next question that we need to get to for the Shadow Blazer is, on Geek News, we've had this talk numerous times, uh -huh. where the discussion of live-action anime adaptations comes up. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we know your thoughts on Ghost in the Shell. Yes. We know your thoughts on Attack on Titan. It was absolutely hilarious, by the way. <laughs> um, but people, act somebody actually brought up three different suggestions for a live-action adaptation and want <gasps> your opinion okay. on whether or not it works. And these are specific ones that are, are kin to you. Okay. So, number one, Monica Magica, go. Oh... Uh... I want to say... We're, and, and again, we're talking U.S. director, U.S. cast, mm -hmm. all that. I'd say... Well, if we're going to go with U.S. cast, then probably not. Yeah. 
I was kind of I was kind of worried about that, but oh, hi there, hi blue girl on fire number two. I'm not your enemy. That remains to be seen. You killed those men back there. I killed them to survive. I suspect you did too. How long have they been here? Days, at most. The invaders took many of my people prisoner. You should leave this place before it's too late. I can't do that. I came here for something important. So did they. If I see you again, I'll put an arrow in your throat. You and I are on the same side. I hope I can prove that to you. What's going on down there? Hi there, random explosion. Who? So that's what that feels like. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry, Alex. I had to make the Dark Knight Rises joke. Oh, this is Rise of the Tomb Raider. This is the Rising Tomb Raider, yes. So, there are oh. people who live out here, and they appear to have been here for a very long time, living in isolation for decades, maybe even centuries. Yet somehow they speak perfect English. Exactly. Address, small adornments that would not have been out Through the power of plot convenience. <laughs> Possibly be descendants of the prophet's people. How much do they know about the lost city or the divine source? Oh. It's clear Trinity will do anything to find out. I'm yes. afraid that whoever they are, they're in grave danger. It's one of those things I like to make fun of, of of U.S. film companies. Enemy of my enemy remains this is, true. This is how much they love Star Trek, because mm -hmm. as far as they are concerned, all of their movies come with come complete with universal translators, because everybody speaks the exact same language at that time. That's true. Except a few other exceptions here and there. Uh, so let's go ahead and get a skill point in here. Because we're in Siberia, right? Yes, we're we're in the middle of Siberia. Yeah. So this is we're going to discover an area that or technically we're in an area right in the middle of the I think it's the Himalayas. That's the the mountain range out there. And the Himalayas is a little more south. I'm trying to think what the it's there there's a, a an actual term for the Siberian mountain range. But that's where we are. Uh, let's see. So scavenger increase the amount of ammunition looted from enemy corpses. We're going to want that because we actually have some sections coming up. I don't know why you're looking at me, Lara. I really don't. <laughs> oh, this is just uh, giving me the option for this wrapped string again. Okay, so Monica Magica live action, not on board. No. Okay. Number two. Card capture Sakura. Go. No. Just, just no. No no explanation whatsoever. <laughs> it's it's like I guess in the sense it's like Monica Magica, it's it's just a little too cartoonish to really translate well into a live action medium. Okay. And and that that's technically true. It, it like how do you how do you do that when you have to get like a ten year old girl and then somehow Hollywood is gonna translate that into like a fifteen year old girl mm -hmm. kind of thing. And there already you, you miss out on some stuff. There was something shiny. To the right. Of yes, I'm just making sure that I get everything. Plus, it's kind of the case I. The, the way I. It's like the way I feel about the problems when you try to do something like Attack on Titan or Full Metal Alchemist. You essentially you're having two source materials to draw from now. You have the manga, and then you have the anime. So which one do you draw from primarily? Speaking of which, when's the Full Metal Alchemist review? Yes, I keep getting that question, Alex. I told you it'll come when it comes. <laughs> I just like the f I like bringing it up because he gets kind of annoyed. <laughs> but dude, like every week we've gotten it from somebody. When is this Full Metal Alchemist review? <laughs> is it 2003? Is it Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? I Are you going to cover the movies? I will watch, I uh, definitely can guarantee I'll watch both the 2003 and Brotherhood series. Okay. The movies are kind of a maybe, I'll need to track those down. Um, I can give you Conqueror. I have that. Okay. Uh, I don't have Star of Milo, though. Right. Uh, just because I, I didn't get it. But I think it was only available on Blu-ray <sighs> anyway. I can so. him now. Oh, no. Uh, well, he's about dead, so let's just go ahead and loot his corpse. Because that's <laughs> what you do in this game. First day in sight. Okay. Work. Constantine is on his way down from the prison. We need to get this mess in order before he arrives. Get him. Oh, hi. 
Hey, can anyone hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Damn it, we gotta get clear. comms back up. Hi there! <laughs> she is the night! I am the night! I gotta do that way I'm more. tomb raiding! <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do that way more feminine. I'm the night! <laughs> That's that's what. At, at that point, if you want it more effeminate, she's got to do it. I am the knight. There you go. Okay. In fairness, I said more effeminate. I didn't say no. Crazy without the smoker's bitch. voice. Rushing three armed men with an axe. I don't. I'm surprised they didn't I'll see her out. throw that. <laughs> I know, right? G give it, to, give it to us, Andrea. I am the knight. There you go. <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to be the trope of this game. Again. I am the knight. <laughs> <laughs> Stealthy. So we get bonus. Like I said before, we get bonus XP for whenever we do that. And now, because of our talents, we're actually going to get ammunition from them. Okay, so here's the third movie. Are you ready, Alex? I'm ready. <sighs> Dot hack. Hold it once. You would love to see that. Yeah. I think potentially, but... Now, it, I need to clarify this really quick. So the fan didn't care, like, what iteration they do or mm -hmm. anything like that, just within the Dot .hack universe. Right. I think poten uh, potentially, if you did hy if you did sort of a hybridized film, like, you did in-game... For, like, all the in-game universe stuff would be, like, CGI animation, and mm -hmm. all the outside-the-game stuff could be real live action. Then I'd say potentially, yeah. Yeah, like like if you. But here's the thing: you bring in a good CG studio to be able to do it. Like you bring in somebody like Pixar. You bring in somebody like uh, ILM, DreamWorks. Yeah, DreamWorks, something like that, where they where you know that they've got good animation and and you can do it properly. Um, but do you, do you basically bind them to the anime style of Don Hack? If you're gonna go for live action, there's more of them arriving. Uh, no, I, I mean, like, if you're gonna, like, do the world as a separate entity, do mm. you bind them to the anime, to the anime look? Can you shoot an, oh, you can't shoot an arrow at that pulse. At, mm. at that what? Oh, uh, there was, like, a pole that you can do that. Oh, you mean, like, give it a rope? I don't have that oh, yeah. ability right now. Double five. There's ammo in there, and we can't afford to lose it. I'm sorry, the correct term, Andrea, is brick! Yeah, brick. <laughs> 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 you threw that right in front of his face, too. Yep, I did. <laughs> Your AI is wonderful! Kill. And the other guy did not like really? This is like Metal Gear, man. Nobody cares about anybody. Yes, <laughs> sir. Should shoot the other guy. Headshot. I literally fired the arrow right in front of his face. She could be anywhere. Oh my gosh. It's like, I gotta go check out the guy. Is there a guy up there too? There. Boom! Headshot. Got your back. <laughs> oh, you shot him in. The I did. I shot him in the butt. He ain't I'm using that dancing. anymore. I'm Katniss. That's the joke we keep making. <laughs> Ooh, can you throw the lantern? Yes, you can actually. You just have to. Uh, I can't remember if you have to. Uh, oh, there. He, so technically, we picked it up. You just didn't see us pick it up. Oh no, that was the bottle. That was the bottle. Okay, so it just makes me think of a uh, commercial like a couple years ago. Maybe you gotta get a little closer to find him. This girl is on fire. It's like for a TV show comedy, and uh, like this little child had like a crossbow. And, like, little, the parents are like desperately trying to get it away from her, and she's like, "Ah, oh, Katniss!" She shoots the arrow. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember there. what the show was, unfortunately, but I just remember that commercial. There we go. Oh, you're hitting the pole. I hit him right in the butt that time. Yeah, in case people are not used to this, I'm just gonna get people used to this now. I will shoot guys in the balls. <laughs> I, I just, I have a really bad habit of doing that. I'm just gonna warn you in advance. 
Yeah, it happens. You cringe every time. I do. I really do. It's like, why do I do that? Enjoy. There's a box. Oh. Hi there, computer system. That's pretty elaborate now, isn't it? Oh, that was not the plot. That's a great computer system like that doing in the middle of nowhere here. I'll tell you, right there, right here and now, that's not good for the PC. And it's, it's servers, too, so... That's tech that ain't gonna have anything to do with it anymore. That's, like, thousands of dollars spent. Hit the bottle with somebody. Oh, dang it. Throw the bottle Throw and the hit the bottle. I'm sorry. You, see, you need to say throw the bottle, Kronk. Throw the bottle, Kronk. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. I can't do a Patrick Warburton. It's one of those things I don't like to admit. Oh, no. If we had that lantern, we'd throw it right out of pool. Why do that when we're the blue girl on fire? Especially if you can do this. <laughs> I'm sorry, Andrew. One more time. I am the knife! There we go. Okay, so now that we've taken care of that. Uh, next series for Alex. Okay. I'm trying to, um, I have to do this off the top of my head. So, see, we covered Dot Hack. We covered Madoka Magica. We covered, um. Did Card Captor Sakura. Oh, yeah, that's right. And this one will probably get asked of Aldo, too. Evangelion. Oh, they've been trying that for years. They've been trying it for years, but do you think they should? This is like the same question of do you think Cowboy Bebop should be done and should Keanu Reeves play Spike? So now now you get to have that question for, for you, Alex. I, I'm, I'm, I hope you're proud. Uh, yeah, I guess Evangelion might work. I, I would actually dare say it won't work, and that's just because nobody's crazy enough to be able to do it. Not like a Dekiano. Oh, but wait, he's doing Godzilla, so, you know, he's doing something. Yeah, he's doing Godzilla. Mm-hmm. Shin Godzilla. Or I guess I should say Shin Gojira. Shin Gojira. Uh, here's the next one. K. On. Funny enough, there is a live-action parody of it. It's a porn, but it's a parody of bliss. Yes, I, I heard, because you told me, I think you told me about the porn, didn't you? I probably did. It's like seriously, people. Uh, Schoolgirls. Again, not in terms of a US. Can you series. break through that? I probably can, but I want to make sure. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, so here's what I do. Not in terms of a of a US version, but like a a, a, a live action Japan version that can get behind. Okay, but well, well, again, premise is uh, an American version. Right. Well, no. <laughs> I think that would be pretty much the same answer for any slice of life anime there. You just don't want an American director touching it. Unless you do, like, some way, some variant on it. There. Funny she has, doesn't have her bow and arrow. Well, that's because we, we gave her the pistol. Yeah, no. Why, why do you hate the pistol, Andrea? No, I'm just saying. The it's too bad it's not is... on her back still, you know. Oh yeah, by the way, not safe for work, people. This game curses a lot. You may have knocked out a few fuel tanks, but that won't even slow us down. You think you can stand in our path for long? It's pointless. So Is it now? God, enter us. We're salt to that world. Where is your next target? Oh. Yeah. Is he to us? So you can't really see it, but yeah, there's an interrogation happening in the other room. And we can't really hear it, so we might as well just kind of skip along. Skip along, people. Skip along. We're going to make it for your people. We can't. Um. Show me who you serve. You think we're going to get out of here? After what you did? By the way, you came. No one's going to give a shit if you all just vanish. No one. We might have to, yeah. No one will ever. But that leads you to nowhere, though.
Oh, nope, we actually can't go back the way we came. So back Unless in we you go. shoot the glass. Yeah, but I think we actually need to wait until they leave. Hi there, buddy. So much for waiting for them to leave. I don't wait. There we go. So for a while there, he was speaking his own language, but then he stopped. Because, you know, that's a thing. Let's see, let's see if we can get this opened. There we go. Oh, switch weapons. So yeah, that's how you do it. We only get access to four weapons, so I hope that's not disappointing, Alex. Well, you'll get better weapons later on, I'm pretty sure. And we can, of course, get uh, ammo caches, which will very much help. How's it looking? Uh, I'm not sure I can stop the leak. Did the work? Let us break the pipe. So you feel like you're on the planet sure of Hawk? <laughs> for the most part, yeah. Except without Han or Chewie. I left you in charge here. Yes, sir. But we didn't expect such heavy resistance. You were to be my eyes. I expected you to see. You must know what is at stake with this operation. Yes, but no. No. You don't. No. How could someone like you? Saska! Go easy. Go easy. Fear the suffering. This guy is on his own level. Our goal is within reach, but we must be vigilant. If we succeed here, a new world awaits. One of our own making. Constantine, you need it back at the prison right away. We've got a captive who might know something about the artifact. Remain faithful. We will share in the glory of the divine source. Again, this guy is on a whole new level of psycho. Oh God. Please. What do we do with him? No. Nobody touch him. And headshot. We flank at us. Oh no! Yeah, bullets. Just no, I'm just switching. Believe it or not, arrows are really easy to come by. Bullets are not necessarily. So we just want to be a little bit careful with it. I just want to take care of this whole area. So the next question that we have is actually for Andrea. Oh. Because we're, I, you know, we did open that up to people. Oh, actually, should, should we do the merciful thing? And he yeah. fell through the world. <laughs> All right. Well, that, that that was not what I was expecting. To be oh perfectly my God, honest. God, apocalypse is here. I know, right? <laughs> he sank through the floor. Oh, and look, there's uh, there's Psylocke. She's just sitting there chewing the scenery. <laughs> I don't think that constitutes chewing the scenery unless you actually speak. Okay, then I'm sorry. She's being the Megan Fox of this movie. She's just sitting there looking purdy. All right, so the question that we have is one we get occasionally for Andrea, and that is, what is your viewpoint on the current state of uh, basically women in gaming, but specifically women protagonists? Um, are they as strong as you would like them to be? Are Could they be stronger? Um, can you give some examples of ones that you like, etc.? Well, I don't see Because, any... of course, that's all we get really with Andrea is like girl-based questions. Do you think you're being properly represented and your demographic is being properly represented in this demographic and blah, 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 blah. All right, guys, I'm sorry. Well, I'm saying it's nice to have sometimes with female protagonists instead of always all male protagonists. Okay, but do you think there's there's adequate representation amongst it or do you think it's still outbalanced? I 
I, I like think... I like it. Alex is twiddling his thumbs. He's like, I have something to say on the matter. <laughs> <laughs> We'll get you, Alex. We'll, well get I'm you. I'm trying to think of how many games there are with female protagonists versus male protagonists. Um, Metroid, obviously. Oh, yeah. Tomb Raider. 